Hello and welcome to Science Concepts with Bhavna Agarwal. Have you ever wondered that if you put a small iron nail in water, it immediately sinks down and settles at the bottom. Whereas a big, big, a huge, big ship, which is built up of lots of iron, wood and many other materials which are actually used for building the ship, it stays afloat. How is this possible? Have you ever wondered so? So today in this video, I am going to clear your doubts about this. What is the force that keeps the ship afloat in water in spite of being made of such heavy density materials such as iron? So actually, if you think about an iron nail, it is a solid piece of iron with no air spaces inside it. So the density of that particular nail is much more as compared to the density of water. And as soon as you put it in water, it sinks down because an object which has a greater density always sinks down and the object which has a lighter density stays on top. Whereas in case of a ship, there are lots of air chambers made at the basement of the ship in which air is trapped. I wonder if you have seen the movie Titanic. If not, you must see it now. And just uh, you need to know what made the Titanic sink. It was actually an iceberg that hit the bottom of the ship, which caused a leakage in the air chambers. So water started entering the ship from the bottom because of which the air was expelled out and water filled inside the ship, increasing the density of the ship. And over a period of time, the ship became too heavy to float and that became the reason why it sank. So when we look at a ship, we just see the upper part of the ship with the huge deck and constructions on it and what not. Five star ships are available these days. But at the bottom of the ship, if the water level is here, there are empty chambers in which lots of air is trapped, which increases the, uh, sorry, which decreases the density of the ship as compared to the density of water and this is the reason why ships float on water. So I hope now you know the reason why the ships they don't sink in water and in spite of being so big and huge and heavy they still manage to stay afloat. Thanks for joining me and I hope you found this video useful. If yes don't forget to hit the like button. Also subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos and don't forget to hit the bell icon if you want regular notifications about the upcoming videos.